everyone welcome back so in the previous video we have talked about implementing uh, azure virtual machine level backup and in today's video we'll be talking about file and folder backup so let's go ahead and start for that let's connect to vm1 using rdp so let's go back here and uh, if you remember all the resources were inside uh, rg0 so if you click that let's search for vm so i'll just uh, try to add vm and apply so we have two different machines so in this case we'll be going to vm1 click the vm1 and uh, we'll be making it as on premises so we'll connect with the uh, rdp and we have a file download that file and uh, we have to use uh, the username and password in order to connect so if you remember uh, the parameters file that we have uploaded in the first video so this is the parameters file so this is the student and this is the username of uh, you know the admin so this is what we have to use so if i go back here we have to, let's click okay so we have used this username and password and we were able to successfully prompt to the next stage and here you just need to click yes so once that is done our uh, vm1 is opening so once it is done we'll be going to azure portal so let's open uh, microsoft edge let's go to the azure portal so in this case let's add our uh, username and password So we have logged into here. So we're just trying to verify that. Let's open my phone. So just waiting for the mail to pop up. Yes, we have got that. Let me add the code. done and verify so right now we are not required so we'll just go to the portal so we are back into our portal and uh, here let's go to the recovery service walls so let me how oh, we already have let's click here and uh, let's click this one the wall that we have created and let's add the backup and in this case the options would be instead of azure we'll be using the on-premises so let's click on-premises and what do you want to backup in this case it's files and folders let's go ahead and uh, files and folders so there are various other options too you can select them but uh, it's out of scope for this lab so i'm just not adding them so once it is done we'll be click, uh, clicking the prepared infrastructure click that and in this case so you have to download the agent for uh, the windows servers and client click that And once it is downloaded, let's click that. So, 
so let's go to the next and it doesn't mention about here so i'll go next and here i do not want to update uh, the microsoft uh, uh, update so just go next and uh, yeah next and let's install it Let's click proceed to registration. And uh, here, let's click this. I'll download it or uh, using the latest version. And uh, download. perhaps so let me go back here and coming to vault credentials we have to download that let's browse it and let's go to the download folders and let's add this So once this is done, let's click next and then encryption settings. Let's generate the passphrase. And let's save it in the document section. And uh, finally, it's finished. So, just checking everything is proper or not. So, yes, everything is done. Just click finish and uh, yes I want to continue click yes so according to the note uh, if that is a production environment you have to store this passphrase file in a secure location other than the server so make sure that you select this and just click close so just showing us the locations of it and just giving us a warning of uh, the credentials so let's close it so once we close it meanwhile uh, the Microsoft Azure backup uh, will be open since we have clicked that so in Microsoft Azure backup we have let's click actions and uh, here we have to create a scheduled backup let's click that and let's go next so let's add the items here So if I go to the windows searching for the system C 
system 32 take that so inside system 32 we have to go to the drivers the section there you go drivers and let's expand that and instead of the drivers, let's find etc. Here you go. And here select uh, the host files and uh, click OK. So we have selected that. And uh, let's go to the next section. And in this case, So make sure that it's day option selected and uh, coming to the first drop down. So let's select 4.30 a.m. according to the dogs and uh, click next. And coming to the retention policy. Let's add the defaults and let's go to the next and even for the choose initial backup type let's keep it as default and uh, go next and uh, here in the confirmation page i think uh, everything is okay and we can click finish So it has been created and you can click close. So it, it has been done and uh, you can see under actions you have a backup now, click that. So here, let's select the backup items and make sure that uh, it's files and folders, go next. So let's add the defaults and go to the next and in the confirmation section, let's click the backup. So once this is done, we'll be closing it. So let's close this. And now let's go back to our uh, Azure portal. And here, let's click another tab and uh, let's go back to our uh, Azure portal and go back to the recovery services vault and click that so here under uh, product, uh, protected items let's click backup items now you can see we have uh, Azure backup agent click that And let's view the details. It says uh, C location, the C drive. So that's it for now. In this video, we have uh, successfully created uh, the files and folders section. And in the next video, we'll be talking about uh, file recovery by using the Azure Recovery Service Agent, which is an optional for this lab. But but uh, we'll be doing that. So I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video. Thank you.